I'm a stay-at-home cat mom. But for the past five months, I've been a stay-the-fuck-at-home cat mom. There's a difference. Our dynamic has changed. We have developed a mutual resentment toward each other. She's dominated my bed. She doesn't like certain sheets. She doesn't like certain patterns. She doesn't like where I place the comforter. So, I sleepily and begrudgingly gather up the corners and smooth out the creases of the sheets. This also includes balling myself up so she can have complete rain above and below. So yeah, I sleep scrunched up in my own fucking bed. Cozy. If things aren't just so, she'll just walk on me or jump across my body intentionally startling me awake so I could fix things and make them perfect for her. There's no fight. She wants, I provide. That's it. Last night as she was sleeping next to my head, I reached up to touch Fluff, reassure her. Let her know I'm there, as if she wanted me to be. Just to tell her, I appreciate you. You are soft, mama loves you. Mama loves her pillow cat. She tolerated it for a bit, and I actually thought she appreciated me. And then a vicious little bite. Man, she's bitten me so many times before but never drawing blood. This time, I grabbed her and felt her feeble little bones underneath my fingers. I felt rage in ways I didn't know a tiny cat could incite. I could crush her, and this game would be over. I looked into her oversized cartoon eyes strongly my hand firmly grasped her body, feeling the slightness of her upper rib cage. Not just knowing, but accepting that I could end her. And this game has gone on for too long. But instead I said, sorry, 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 no, 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 don't leave, come on. Ugh, fuck. She glanced at me, oblivious, unaffected, unscathed, bored, stretched out her back legs, and walked over to her food bowl, smelled it, didn't eat it, came back. King of the jungle, queen of the bed. I just scrunched up in the middle, fell asleep, Prayed for death. She's staring at me. She will not take her eyes off of me for one second. I just want some fucking privacy in my own goddamn apartment. I flip the laptop up, kind of duck behind it, and she meow barks at me. I roll my eyes, take a deep pull of my cigarette, and breathe in. She hates when I smoke. It's my only form of retaliation at this point. I set up the fan and open the window, blow the smoke outside, but of course, she perches right where I want to exhale. Of course she fucking does. I roll my eyes deeply. As deep as they can go. Get up and go to the kitchen window. She follows. She thinks this is a fucking game. This is all her game. I exist just for her. And the reality is... I do. She's guilted me out of the desire to have a cigarette, so I just put it out. Leave the windows open and pray she will hop outside onto the little shed below. Her own enormous private cat balcony and leave me the fuck alone. This method of cat avoidance comes with flies and mosquitoes. 
because I have to have at least one of the windows open during the course of her sunbathing session so she can have options. If I don't give her options, she will not go outside and give me some desperately needed space. If there was ever a definition for being inside and outside simultaneously, it would be cat. She even knows when I'm writing about her, like now, she could feel it. She relaxes, she purrs, she knows that she has all of my attention. And she doesn't have to worry about my stupid hands touching her. My hands are busy. They won't bother her now. But the purring, the purring, the sound of her little purr makes me fucking delirious. I must touch Fluff. Must touch. I must touch. I must touch Fluff. Touch these hands. Must be touching that lovely little lady. If you love me, love me, don't touch that lovely little balls. Fuck you, purr. You need to love you, fat cat. You fat lovely little lady. I do touch. She aggressively rubs her whiskers against my hand, encouraging me to pet her more. A rare moment of mutual like since the beginning of lockdown. I started talking incessantly in my falsetto cat speak voice. Aw, cutie pie. I love you. I love you so much. I just want to pet you all the time. My cutie little fluff. Ow! She got me. This bite didn't draw blood, but my feelings are hurt and tears well up in my eyes. I'm a little surprised and kind of embarrassed. The only time a cat should ever make you cry is when they die. But these are strange times, so I'm not really that surprised. The world is shit, I'm lonely, and my cat is a fucking dick. I tell her I love her. I don't even allow the tears to fall. I leave her alone, go to the bathroom, and shut the door. Pull yourself the fuck together. And then I open the door, and I watch her. I watch her clean her body from head to toe. Fuck you, cat. <laughs>